som eh, vi hörde ett rure som klingade som vi hörde det på fårarna. Ja, Och så hörde vi ett rure. Ja. Renarna har ju en klocka ibland. Men renarna klingade när vi hörde klingande i skogen hos fårarna. Många får. Ja, så. Ska vi göra en klättare? We are going to make a climbing wall. The problem is it's a little bit cold still and it's hard to climb with these. Men vi kan ju trästa i alla fall. Ja. Mm. Ah. Is it your first foothold? Mm. Mm. Kan det vara så här långt nere kanske? Mm. <laughs> Maybe these screws are too short, I don't know. Vad fint den sitter fast. Ja, <laughs> den verkar ju sitta. Ska vi ta en till då? Den där. Den blir en bra. Var ska du ta då? Då tar du den. Så. Där kan vi skriva den då. Då blir det en, en jug till dig här. Mattias and Ivar went to Finland during Easter and then we decided that uh, Mattias and Ivar is going to stay behind for uh, another week and I went home on my own and of course I went home earlier because I had to take care of the animals my parents are so kind to take care of them for us when we are away but we didn't want to extend our visit there so my parents would take the full load for that but it feels nice uh, both to be at home alone and have some alone time for myself and also that Matthias and Ivar can spend more time with that side of the family and now I'm going to try something new and that is plant some seeds in pots and have them in my greenhouse and then when it starts to get warmer I'm going to start watering them and see if I get some sturdier plants being accustomed to the warmth and the cold and yeah all like that and also maybe don't need to replant them as often uh, when I do it this way I find that part very tricky to replant them over and over again when growing the seeds inside so I'm gonna try it this way and see if it works. I'm mostly going to try this with a lot of different flowers but also some herbs and also the squash and the cucumber. So I don't know, 
I'm experimenting, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, into the greenhouse we go. I'm going to start to water them maybe in the beginning of May sometime, but yeah, wait and see. Papira. Det är och vinkar till henne. Hej då! Och så kommer det ett gupp. Är vi framme? Mm. Men en liten stund kommer jag. Okej. Okay. Till stan. Så den ska spricka. Mm. Vad är det där för något? Det här stort ska hålas var dörren då. På de där halkarna. Kan de ha på mig? Mm -hmm. Nu filmar jag på dig. Jag vill se. Mamma då. Så 
we felt that we needed some more neighbors, so we have mass produced some houses. <laughs> mass produced. I don't oh, know. <laughs> eight of them. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll make some more later on. But these are for different kinds of. How do you say? Tits. Yeah. Um, birds. Birds. Yeah, but mesar. Mm. So this tree has smaller doors, uh, 25 millimeters, and they they are for the smaller tits, like the blue tit. And then we have tree with 28 millimeters door, and they are for the great tit for example and then we have two with the 30 millimeter door and they are for the nötvecka not hatch or not hatch no oh, maybe those who climbs up and down <laughs> at the tree <laughs> yeah. i have no idea how they can differentiate between millimeters like that <laughs> the birds yeah. yeah the great tit are too big to fit into mm. the 25 millimeter, mm. so the smaller teeth are often um, outnumbered by the great teeth, who are bigger. So this way they have the these alone. houses houses alone, yeah. Mm. So they don't have to fight for somewhere to put their eggs. <coughs> oh. The largest drill I had was 25, so I only had a drill for, for one of these sizes. I need to try to make the other ones with, with the saw. Maybe it's too late for this spring for the birds to use them, but at least they have them uh, for the next year. So maybe we are a bit too late for the birds to use the houses this year, but at least they have them until next year ready. We will, we will also write a short blog post about the measurements, so you can take a look if you want to make some too. So we didn't film the process of of how to make them from the beginning. <laughs> we just, uh, I was inside working and do when you started this project. Uh, but we made, I can illustrate it for you. So we just took four long planks and uh, put them together and then in a tube yeah like a like a pipe a square pipe and then just uh, uh, made the measure measurements and um, cut ones here cut ones straight here cut sloping here then yeah then we got got these boxes and then we put the lid underneath and a, a roof on top simple the bottom here is a little bit smaller than so there is room for air and room for water to to come out yeah what is Och vi 
Ja mam tutaj już o tyle wat, no. O co, ula ty teraz? O co? And also in the bottom I have put the two screws on the back side and one screw on the front side so I can unscrew this one. I need just to put something to grab onto here so it becomes a, a, a lid so I can clean them out as well. And also we are going to fill some of the houses with uh, sawdust or what say man? Sawdust. Sawdust. Yeah. Because uh, some of the because some of the birds prefer to uh, pick things out, pick the sawdust out and make their own uh, home, like it's an old tree that they are cleaning out. Here is two birds, a red wing trust found it in the sheep pen and also another beautiful bird named Röd Hake in Swedish. I found this one in, in the chicken coop. The Röd Hake we have seen here a lot but, but uh, the Röd Winge Trast is the first time I have seen. Unfortunately I have not seen one alive yet. Och så skriver jag att höjd över marken spelar ingen roll. Bra i ögon, höjd eller lite högre. Så blir det för högt då? Nej, det ska på plats här. We have been wanting to do this for many years now. Like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, since, since we first came here. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Everything in due time. <laughs> we also want to do make some uh, bat houses. Yeah, we need to do that as well. I have a hulk. 
Bat. Bat. Houses. <laughs> Houses for bats. Mm. Hallå, är det någon hemma? Nobody home. There was some old, old building, mater nesting material there. But or new. I think it's old, but we'll leave it there. Okay, so somebody has put up one bird nest uh, here before. I suspect I know who that is. It's cracked and old now. We will exchange it for a new one in the fall. Skulle ha fri inflygning. Blå med sig. Aha. I guess every year we need to screw out the screws a little bit. So the tree has... place to grow. The cats are definitely a concern when it comes to caring about these birds. Testa se om du kommer över hela. Oj! Är det en hulk för små barn? Vem ska bo här inne då? Apparently two of our very common tits here prefer to have their houses near the ground. So we'll try it out and hopefully other animals won't uh, harass them. From what I understand the reason behind why it is necessary to build bird houses and put them up is pretty sad because of how the forest is managed as a resource much of the area that is covered with forests lack big dead standing trees so here is one dead tree and and the woodpeckers and other some other birds are the pioneers and and make the holes and then ad, other birds use it year after year after mm. that and also big trees that uh, have broken mm. so there's like space for owls yeah. and yeah. bigger birds to yeah, build like nests very tall um, tall standing trees that have, have broken yeah. so because of the forest industry and uh, the way most people manage their forest makes it so that 
there is a lack of dead standing trees that also are big, like uh, uh, have a hefty diameter. So therefore it's really good to put up some houses here and there, just to help the little birds out. <laughs> because their song is one thing that I believe is essential to life. Mm. Bird song. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And also I think if you put up houses for them, you will also see more birds because yeah, mm. then they have a mm. chance to thrive at your land. So. Mm. Mm. Well, it's a sad, sad story. Mm. Now I'm starting to wonder what one of those nest cameras <laughs> or how, how much do they cost? Is that an expensive investment and how do they work? It would be fun, but uh, let mm. them have some privacy. <laughs> Is, are they sending some signal that's disturbing? That's not very good. Mm. Wouldn't want to disturb them with some toxic EMFs. Uh, but I guess there w should be ones with only a memory card inside them as well. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. 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 Det är bra det. Att jag lånar lite grann av dig. Ja. 
Men jag ska ha rakt de här. Ska du? Ja, så här då. Mm. Och bli en lätt. Om vi sätter alla rakt. Det är för lätt. Hur ska jag kliva in där du? Vi får väl bygga ett nytt problem här åt dig. Hur kan du sätta den här? Jag ska hjälpa dig lite. Berätta hur du ska göra. Ja. Bra. Bra. Försök. Ta i den blåa där. Så sätter du foten där. Ja. Och så tar du i den där blåa. Hopp. Och så sätter du foten där. Ja. Bra. Och så tar du i den där blåa. Så tar du i den där blåa. Och den där kan du sätta foten. Ja. Bra, bra. Jag håller i dig. Sätt foten där. Ja. Och så sätter du den andra foten hit. Ja, ah, bra. Där kan du ta i också. Ta den där. Så. Och så stiger du upp och så tar du i den här röda. Oj. Så. Båda händerna på röda. Den också. Så. Det var bra. Det var bra. Precis. Får jag stå här? Ja, du får sitta ner där. Du kan inte ta ner den. Well, as usual, we want to thank all the Patreons that supports us. Without you, making these videos would not be possible. So in this episode, we have done two things that we have thought of doing for a long time now. The birdhouses and the climbing wall. Unfortunately, the climbing wall became a little bit too short. I need to get some bigger boards and build some kind of structure. I don't know if it's going to be beside the woodshed or on the same place or not but I have no idea when I'm going to find time for that so the short one will do for now it also felt like it was a little bit too little climbing holds to be a so-called spray wall so maybe I'm just gonna get some more holds for now that's the quick solution in the beginning of the next episode I will go through a little bit about everything that we hope to get done this summer. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.